Okay, so today I'll be showing you how to make these lovely salmon quesadillas. <laughs> Let's get into it. I got the juice and the squeeze, double tap on the gram, I'm a tease. I got the juice and the squeeze, double tap on the gram, I'm a tease. In the DM, he begging me, please, like Millie, just give me a pee. All right, so first we are going to start off by making our ranch sauce. So every all the measurements will be in the description box. So if you want to make this yourself, be my guest. But to me, it just tastes better when you make your own ranch sauce from scratch because we got food at home, right? It's 2021. We definitely have food at home. Just adding the spices, and once again, everything is in the description box. Okay, let me not do that. Okay, our ranch dip is complete, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the fridge for a little bit. And next, we are going to get started with our salmon. Okay, so this piece of salmon that I have, the skin is on. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take off the skin. Let's see if I can show you guys how I do it. So normally there will be a little piece here right underneath the flesh. Right here, I don't know if you guys can see it anymore. Right here, see there's a little piece of the skin that's already like lifting so you're gonna go ahead and take your index finger and pull and pull you literally and I'm left-handed so bear with me if you guys can't see because I'm gonna grill up this salmon and because it's going in the quesadilla, we really don't want the skin on it. So I have no use for this skin right now. But be careful, be very careful, okay? And just like that, the skin is off. All right guys, so I just cleaned my salmon, I just gave it so a wash with some vinegar and a lemon juice. So now I'm just gonna take a paper towel and pat it dry. We wanna get all of the moisture out of the salmon as much as we can. We are going to be pan searing it. So we just wanna make sure any excess water there, just wipe that up. And just pat, 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 pat until it is dry enough. So that's good enough. Next, grab some oil of your choice. Today, I'm using olive oil. And you're just going to go ahead and just drizzle a little bit on each side. Because we want to make sure we get this baby nice and coated so that all of the seasonings we're about to sprinkle on can stick to it nice and proper. Yeah? Okay, and once again, let me just give this a mix. So this is a blend of a bunch of different seasonings. And you know, we can't leave out the Meals by Mills. You know, we using that new upgraded Meals by Mills lemon pepper. And seafood as well. So I just gave all of my seasonings a mix there. And once again, guys, all of the measurements and the seasonings that I'm using will be in the description box below. So let's go ahead and hit that salmon with it. We gonna hit that salmon with it and just give it a nice rub. Turn it around, same thing to the other side. And I like to make sure that the edges are coated too. So I just sprinkle some on the plate. 
really dab the edges to make sure all the edges are coated nicely as well. And there is our nicely coated salmon. We are ready. Okay, so we're ready. So now, next step, we gotta get this pan ready. Okay, pan on. And let me clean up a little bit as we are we're waiting for this pan to get hot. Okay, guys, so I just added some unsalted butter to the pan, and I'm just gonna go ahead and wait for that to melt. And it may look like a lot of butter, guys, but we will also be using this pan to cook our veggies after the salmon is done. So I wanna make sure that there's enough butter in the pan. Here we go. I just have the pan here on medium heat. Medium heat, baby. Much better, okay. Complex. Now we're gonna go ahead and put this in the pan. Just let it cook. And let it cook, baby. Bam. Let's get it, let's go. And one way to tell how the salmon is cooked is, you see the side right here, you'll see it'll be pink in color. It won't be that light raw pink anymore. It'll be a nice even pink compared to the side that you just seared. So that's another way to tell when the salmon is cooked. If you watched the Crunchwrap Supreme video, you'll know about this meat masher here. It's from Amazon. I'll link it in the description box as well. So we're just gonna take the meat masher and just mash up the salmon because we're using it for quesadilla. So instead of taking a fork and flaking it, that's what we gonna do. But first, let's hit it with a little bit of lemon and we're gonna turn down the heat a bit. Nice. And now let's start mashing up our salmon. So all of that butter and goodness is going to be inside of our salmon. All of those seasonings we put on to it is going to be in every single bite. This is going to taste amazing. Okay, so we'll just give that a minute or two to just cook thoroughly. In the okay, so this should be about done. This looks great. And it smells amazing too. So we are done with the tongs on that other side. So we're just gonna take our salmon and we are going to set it aside. Just want to make sure you get out all the salmon bits because what you don't want is burnt salmon in your vegetables. And take a paper towel and just wipe off the edge of the pan. Put the pan right back on the stove. Yes, we will be using the same pan, so don't worry about it. I'm gonna show you in a second why we don't use the same pan. Show me. So to that, we are gonna go ahead and add in our onions. Mix that around. Okay, let that 
cook for a few minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and add in some jalapenos, some diced jalapenos. Now you wanna save a little bit of it to garnish the top of the quesadillas. A little bit to garnish. And I didn't even bother to take the seeds out because I like spice, but that's all up to you. If you don't like spice, but you still wanna add the jalapenos just for the flavor that they do have, you can go ahead and take out the seeds. I didn't, because I'm a spicy bitch. <laughs> okay, so that looks good. To that, we're gonna go ahead and add in some diced bell peppers. Now, when I get my bell peppers, what I normally do is I chop them up and freeze them ahead of time so that when I am ready to use them, they're already there in my freezer and I don't have to worry about my bell peppers going bad if I don't need to use um, a bunch. I normally try to buy them when they're on sale and whatnot and then just cut them and freeze them. So in this bag, I have like green ones. So if you see me taking a bit of time to put them in the pan, it's because I'm trying to avoid the green ones because I already have green in, in this dish here from the jalapenos. <laughs> That should be good now. This smells lovely, guys. Okay, and just let that give a minute. Give that a minute for all of those flavors to marry. And because the peppers I put in there were frozen, I'm gonna get give those a little bit of chance to um, get up to the same temperature as everything else in the pan. Okay, so this is good to me. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is we're gonna take that salmon that we just cooked and we're gonna put it right back into this pan. And just give it a quick toss. Remember the salmon's already cooked, so we're not trying to cook it. Essentially, all we're trying to do is just marry the flavors from the garlic and vegetables jalapeno in with the salmon and that's it that's it oh quick one quick one oh. <laughs> and this is a really 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 beautiful color and this is a nice dish if you don't eat meat <laughs> Baby, make you some quesadillas for Taco Tuesday instead of making, you know, chicken or whatnot. I'm telling you, these are fire. Okay. So, this is how it looks. And now, we're going to set this aside because next we're going to use this pan to make our quesadillas. She's freaking mag. Magnificent. Okay, so next, what we gonna do is, what we gonna do is we're gonna grab our cake, our tortilla shells. Grab our tortilla shells. The large one, okay, baby? So you can do this two ways. You can literally make your whole entire pan fit the quesadilla and you can put a next one on top or you can fold it in half. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our cheese. I like using the Tex-Mex, but you can use whatever cheese you like, but specifically what's in this is um, mild cheddar, queso cheese, and um, Monterey Jack. And I like Monterey Jack cheese because it pairs well with seafood. So any type of seafood dish you're making, and you know you want some cheese in it or whatever use monterey jack it's just the bomb.com all right so we got our cheese down so now we're gonna take some of that salmon and um salmon and veggie mixture and just place it right on top as well and remember you don't want to go too crazy on the edges because remember the edges is really where you wanna leave some room for your, your finger or if you're serving other people, their fingers to um, be able to grab the quesadilla and hold it, right? For eating purposes. 
So don't go all the way to the edge. Just enough, I'd say about maybe half an inch from the edge of the, the shell. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to hit it with a little bit more cheese. The cheese is acting as the glue. So the cheese is what is going to hold the tortilla shell to our salmon and veggie mixture that's in the middle. And you wanna have your pan on low heat when you're doing this, please guys. Because you, what you don't want is to burn the shell. Trust me, been there, done that, it's not fun. All right, and then we're gonna grab another shell. Place it right on top. Okay, so it's been about five minutes, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this bad boy now. I'm gonna be very careful. And look how brown it is, it's perfect. It is perfect, guys. So I'm just gonna wait for the other side to finish and then I'm gonna grab my plate, cut it open and let's see what's happening. And this is how it looks on the final plate. This looks so scrumptious, guys. Like, oh my goodness. It's the plating for me. Okay, guys, moment of truth. Now, let me test this out. I hope it's gonna be good. It smells good, let's dip it in some of the ranch. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, there's so much flavors going on here. Mmm, mmm. Just got a jalapeno. Woo, a little kicker. Mmm. <clears throat> mm -mm. These are busting. Oh my goodness. Oh <laughs> my mm, goodness. Guys. If anything, it's the it's the homemade ranch for me. Seriously. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. If you guys try these out, let me know in the comments how you liked it. And don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, go share this recipe with one of your friends. Please do. Cause we got food at home but i gotta go finish this i'm gonna see you guys in the next video gotta go <laughs> i got the juice and the squeeze double tap on the gram i'm a tease i got the juice and the squeeze double tap on the gram i'm a tease in the dm he begging me please like millie just give me a piece